repentant of an institution that I am part of that has led to the colonization of not just my people, but so many. And I, I, I invoke my own ancestors who have been killed over 300 years of colonial rule, both under Spain and the United States, that have brought religion, the Christian religion, to our shores, but in, in a way has robbed my own people of, of its dignity, of its land, of its resources, and still continues today in the empire that is both religion and the United States. I also come not just as a person of color and a clergy person, I come as a gay United Methodist clergy. The church and religion has colonized our own bodies and identities as queer people. The same that it has colonized people of color, the working class, and the poor. Our struggles are one. Our struggles are one. That's why I also invoke my queer ancestors from the Philippines and elsewhere who have died, who have suffered under the discrimination because of the discrimination perpetrated by the morals of the church and of religion in general that have said that queer people are lesser. And that is not the truth. Because we are all human beings and we share the same dignity. So may our ancestors' bloods mingle today in tears, in pain, for their blood and ours will lead this fight forward. We shall struggle together as people of color, as indigenous people, as queer people, working class, oppressed people, for our struggle is righteous. And for that, I join you in solidarity today. And I am deeply wounded by what is happening today in DC, for it is so ironic that a leader of a church from a colonized country will canonize somebody who is a conquistador. It pains me. I would like to say I hate it. I really do. And I am angry. And I will channel that by building communities of struggle, of liberation with you. Thank you for your work today and for allowing us to be here.